안녕하세요. It's David again. I want to give everybody an update for week two. So this week started out wet and rainy. It's been warm, but it's been wet and rainy this entire week. Uh, apparently this is the normal for Korea. It is some sunny days, lots of wet, rainy days. Uh, so this week I did say goodbye to my hotel living arrangement and have officially moved into my new living arrangement. So this is what Natalie and I call my apartment because it just feels weird to say my house whenever I already have a house to live in. But uh, as you can see, as I mentioned last week, this is uh, this feels a little bit sanitary. It's white walled all the way around and uh, it's got every amenity you could possibly want, but everything's very plain. Um, it's got office tile floors and the furniture kind of looks like uh, furniture you would see in an office building as well. There's one living room and a separate bedroom as well as a separate bathroom and a kitchen area. And this was just a basic walk around before I really put any major big items in uh, to kind of spruce it up. So one of the first things I did was go get a rug. I feel like rugs kind of tie a room together and make the floor feel a little less dead and sanitary. I also picked up a ivy that I found at the local store and it had already grown quite a bit and they were selling it for super cheap. It was a little neglected, but I was able to bring it back a little bit to a healthy standard. Just putting it by the window seemed to do it a world of good. As you can see in the video, I moved some of the furniture around. Uh, one piece of furniture is this little lazy boy, which was very mean to me. As I was moving it, the back came off and scraped right down my shin and took a big old gash out of it. Uh, it wasn't pleasant. This is the bathroom. I got a couple of rugs for the bathroom as well and a, a nice shower curtain just to kind of spruce it up a little bit, make it look a little bit nicer. And it, it turned out pretty good. In the bathroom, there's a big storage closet where I keep all cleaning supplies and all the extras that uh, usually clutter an apartment. I'll keep in that, that bathroom. It's got a fair size sink and a big mirror. And right across from the bathroom is the kitchen area. And I was lucky enough to be passed down quite a bit of kitchen items from the guy that I'm replacing out here. And so I was able to fill the cabinets up with spices and um, plates and bowls and things like that. Uh, just to get me started until I could run to the store. Put everything away in the cabinets and clean off the counters. It looks a whole lot better. I'm going to try to keep this as decluttered as possible. In this apartment, I also have a stacked washer and a dryer, which is very nice. The only downfall is when you open the dryer, it does not seem to you like the other ones do. Friend Sean also gave me two dehumidifiers. Apparently, it's very humid and it can cause mold growth, so Having dehumidifiers is essential to living in these apartments. After setting up some of the apartment, I decided to go bowling. And the bowling alley is located in this cool little shopping center with a big fountain right in the middle that the kids play in. Uh, I ended up getting some cool bowling shoes and bowled a couple of frames. Although I got some shameful, shameful scores, I have something to improve while I'm here. Later in the week, I had to take a trip further north. And to do so, you had to travel some back roads and some country country lanes, so I decided to record what the view is with my dash cam. Lots of people were wondering what it looks like over there, and this is pretty well what it looks like on the drive up. There are interstates and highways that go between all the big cities, but I think everybody's kind of familiar with what an interstate and a highway looks like. But this is the back country roads where the farms and the rice paddies are. And you can definitely smell that you're passing by farms because they definitely use cow manure for fertilizer. And when it was wet and rainy this week, you could smell it for sure. Uh, but it's a pretty drive. The scenic drive is definitely better than the, the highway driving, in my opinion. But not a bad drive whatsoever. So this week I learned there's a thrift store near me. So I ended up hitting the thrift store and finding a bunch of cool stuff. I found a uh, good comforter that I soon washed and decided to put on my bed. I also found a couple of pillows that could kind of spruce up the bedroom just a little bit more. I found this neat one with a bird on it. And all these were about a dollar, I think, so. Also found this cool little tassel pillow, which I learned not to sleep on because you wake up with tassels in your nose and your ears and your eyes throughout the night. So I definitely take that off the bed before I go to sleep now. I found a couple of picture frames also, and I, I took a couple of pictures with me. And I plan on um, putting those inside of these frames and then hanging them on the wall but I didn't really like these backgrounds. So I was also able to find this um, sticky paper, sticky back paper that I can put on there and put pictures on top of and make it look a little bit more uh, aesthetic. 
I also found another picture frame, kind of the same size as the other one. I have the same idea. I don't know if I have enough of that back uh, paper to put on this one also, but I'm going to try to stretch it out between the two. If not, I'll just have to get creative with it and make it look nice somehow, some way. I also found a really big picture frame, and I had an idea for this one. I think I'm going to put in a couple more pictures, but I definitely won't have enough paper to do all three, so I'll have to get creative with it somehow, some way. I also found this guy. I'm calling him Toucan Sam. Uh, he just looked kind of neat. I'm trying to make everything look a little bit more beachy, remind me of home just a little bit, as much as, much as possible. And I also found this, which I thought was great because it obviously is a beach scene, which I love the beach. And I think I'll put it right above the bed that way before I go to bed every night. I get a good picture of the ocean. I can't put any holes in the wall, so everything has to be hung with command hooks. So. I, uh, I was successful on the command hook hanging of the big beach picture over the bed. That's the new comforter and uh, another rug that I bought for the bedroom with the pillows and everything all put together. It looks pretty nice. Here's one of the frames that I put the sticky backing paper on. And I think it turned out pretty well. I'm going to put some pictures over the top of that and then I'll hang them on the wall, but that'll have to wait till another day. Again, it was very rainy all this week. This is pretty what the entire week looked like. Nice and rainy all day long. Not a real heavy rain, but just enough to soak you if you went outside. I was really glad that I had packed a rain jacket before leaving because it has definitely come in handy this week with all the rain that we've had. I had a chance to run to the store and grab some essential items, uh, things that I can eat throughout the week and not have to eat out every single night. The selection of food here is pretty com comparable to the U.S. Uh, all of the U.S. products are on the shelves and you can get your standards of everything, even down to uh, cereal and um, Lay's potato chips. If you want something that's truly Korean, there's a bunch of different shops and markets and things like that you can go to to get that stuff. But all the fruits and produce around this area are all flown in from the United States, so there's uh, there's no real health concern about it. Not that there really is from buying anything from one of the Korean markets, but just to play it safe until I get acclimated to the to the different types of food here and uh, everything else that's yeah, present here. I'll try to stick to foods that are flown in. But I ended up getting a whole bunch of apples, a whole bunch of bananas, a whole bunch of oranges, things like that. I'm trying to build up my my immunities and my defenses because being in a new, a new climate, a new region of the world, uh, everybody's kind of prone to sickness right off the bat until they get acclimated. So I want to make sure that I keep myself healthy and keep my defenses up as much as possible. I ended up getting a loaf of French bread. I was going to eat that with a uh, rotisserie chicken for dinner one night. And the French bread is a little bit different. French bread is like a multi-grain French bread, but it's not advertised as such. I also went to the store to get a couple of pots and pans. I found this whole pots and pans set for 20 bucks. Um, I did an unboxing of it later, but it comes with four different uh, elements to it. A frying pan, a couple of pots, and a, a bigger cooking pot. I also got a 24-inch TV just because it is so quiet around here that I had to have something making noise. And so I ended up buying the TV. And then once you plug it into the wall, you automatically get a bunch of free channels. Um, most are in the U.S., but you also get a couple of Korean channels. So I bought a Roku to see if I can get some more channels. I also had to get a puzzle. Um, I love doing puzzles and I got a big table in order to do the puzzles on. I also had to get some kitchen utensils. The lady warned me with this pots and pans that do not use metal on it. It's so thin that you'll scratch through the bottom of it basically. So I had to get plastic. And then of course I had to get some hangers to hang up all my clothes now. All they had was a zebra puzzle, so um, that's what will be filling this table right here whenever I get it all set up. Woke up to another very rainy day. As I said, pretty well every day this week. It's just been rain, rain, rain. Uh, it's not cold, so I'm definitely appreciative that it's not freezing rain. But definitely rainy, definitely gloomy. But uh, it's, it's pretty in its own way. So I did discover when I was setting the TV up, the outlet and the coax cable are on the opposite side of the living room. So in order to watch TV, everything has to be on this side. So I had to do some rearranging. But here's after I had set everything up, 
here's pretty well what the uh, the apartment looks like now. So the kitchen area, everything put away, squared away. Still need to unbox the pots and pans, and I have a video of that later here in this video. I got two cans Sam hung up on the wall. Got the bathroom laid out pretty well like I wanted to do it. I had moved the rug from the bathroom into the, the bedroom. So I need to get another rug for the bathroom. Got all my essentials set up. Got a few more cleaning supplies put away in the bathroom closet. Had to buy a shower liner. Got the shower liner all set up. Toilet paper on the toilet paper roll. Got me a towel set up now. Like I mentioned, the living room's been flopped around now, which I really didn't need to do because I just ended up putting the TV in the bedroom anyway, but yeah, each his own. Maybe whenever I actually get my shipment of stuff, I'll consider moving the living room around again or trying to find a better way to set it up. So these are the pictures and the picture frames that I had bought that I finally set up. So I got pictures of back home. I was able to put the background on two of the frames, but the other one, I just had to take the white picture out and put the uh, put the pictures I had over the top of it. And it turned out all right. The bedroom finally finished up. I got a couple more things that I want to buy that I'm going to put in the apartment later, but for the most part, I think I have it set up the way I'm going to for the bedroom at least. And then maybe with the living room, I'll figure out a better way to organize it. Got my clothes hung up and now it's starting to feel a little bit more like a, a real living space. I've seen other people's living quarters and they never really try to make it look like a home. I really wanted it to feel like a home, like a, a place where I could be. All right, time to unbox the pots and pans that I bought. Again, this is a $20 set, so I don't expect too much out of it. Uh, and I got basically what I expected. They're very thin. Um, if you dropped it on the floor, it would probably fold itself in half, but it needs to last a year, and as long as it does, I'm just fine with it. The lady said don't use metal on them. I'm uh, thinking probably because if you use metal on it, it will corrode and within a week probably eat a hole through it, but that's fine as long as it works. I got uh, two pots and a frying pan out of it, and then I got one big um, cooking pot along with it also. And, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to cook first, but I'm excited to use them at least. So it came with a couple of different lids too, so yeah, pretty well everything you need within this uh, one little set here. Everything in the apartment's coming together pretty nice. I keep finding little things here and there that I keep adding to the apartment just to, to give it a bit more of a homely feel. I visit the thrift store occasionally just to see if they've gotten anything new in. Uh, on a visit I took the other day, I did find some more long black curtains for the bedroom. And every time I find something new, something additional to spruce up the place, I'll get it and I'll, I'll put it in there. I think really what is missing right now is just all my personal belongings that should be here by the end of the month. I decided to celebrate with another meal at my favorite Korean place. And I got gimme bop this time. And you can actually hear it sizzle. And it was very good, as it always is. The last thing I got this week was a couple of plants to spruce up the place just a little bit more. Um, for anybody that knows me, I love um, bonsai plants as much as I can. And so I'm going to do the same thing with these guys. I just got to find a couple of small pots to put them in, but that'll give me something to do. I keep looking for little taskers here and there to keep myself busy and looking for pots for these two little guys is going to be something fun to do. Well, everybody, thanks for watching again. It was this next coming week? I should be headed up to Seoul for a little bit. Um, so I'll take some video of that. Um, look forward to posting the next video. Thanks for watching. Love you all.